Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Tobias, major of macros from the Audible Carnivals. Here, uh, our ribs are almost done. We just wrapped them. You, you're well. Maybe we'll eat ribs on camera. In a, a no, I don't think so. Because when when these are done, we're probably just going to be devouring them. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, but we make some amazing uh, St. Louis ribs. But we're doing it jerk style, Korean jerk style. Just made the sauce for glazing. It is mwah, amazing. But uh, we're cracking another sour beer. This time from Degard. And this is the Degard, the sixth peach. A spontaneous wild ale with white Saturn peaches aged in oak barrels for over, or for two years on 6.5%. We really enjoy uh, Degard. They make amazing funky beers. A uh, great brewery in Oregon and one of the you know first breweries in the States to really focus on spontaneous and, and wild beers. So let's dive in. Looks awesome. Super bright and yellow. Mine's you know. pancaking a bit. Yeah, I think it's because we just had a beer with a lot of oils yeah. in the glass. Uh, but when you poured it, it had a nice white head. Uh, and I can swirl up a little bit. But yeah, golden yellow color. Let's check out the aroma. Oh, oh yeah. super bright peach. Yeah. Underripe peach. And since I guess it's a white peach, it's it's got like a snappy kind of sharper peachy aroma. Yeah. It's not like the crazy overripe. Uh, Very juicy. But it smells really good. So like, man, this is just yeah, it's, crazy it's, it's, peach juice. It's the sensation you get when you just tear a, a, a like slightly hard peach. Yes, exactly. Uh, um, nice lactic kind of sourness to it. There's a medium lighter funk, uh, mostly like oaky and like a woody funk to me. But I think it's the, the big standout thing. It's like abundance of nice peach aroma. Yeah. But really nice oak presence. Man, it's so peachy. <laughs> it smells so fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Very, very fresh. Like, it, it, the fact that it also has complexity of oak and all this, I, I can kind of see why people think, you know, the smoothie sours are fun, but this is just so much more elegant and yeah. balanced and, you know, funky beer any day. That's ancient barrels over smoothie sours. But yeah, it smells great. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers to that. Mm. And the best thing, it's balanced. It's yeah, not like very... scrapingly sour. It has some sourness from the yeah. from the peaches, but more more, more, more like a, an underripe peach sourness. Yeah, like un yeah, underripe peaches, really peachy, nice and dry as well. Mm -hmm. And it, it is puckering a bit, but it's light. Mm. And then it's besides just that, on the tongue. Yeah. And a really nice dry oaky character, almost like white oak. Like it's like this really dry, light woody flavor. It's not like really toasty, I think, like mm -hmm. or toasty woody. It's almost like virgin oak or, or, or white oak or something like that. Because it's just like this fresh, like dry woody flavor. Not much funk. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the beers with more funk than this. But what funk is there it just lends to that kind of woody thing. Uh, but I will say like some of the Degar beers we've had has like had crazy fun funky things like uh, almost like medicinal medicinal some and, and some have been like just like uh, you know like really farmyardy and whatnot. But I think this is just a bit more balanced. But I, I don't know when they released this if this is a younger release or. So that one of them was from September last year. Okay, so that could explain something, but it, yeah. you know, it, it has such a nice, vibrant peach flavor. It's not, you know, I, I will say the Lucy we have, where we talked about dripping juicy peach and all that, <laughs> or maybe more overripe. This has yeah. that, like that snappy, fresh, underripe feel to it. But I think that the, the dryness from the oak and then the underripeness of the peaches makes that this is also very much more drinkable. Mm. It's, it's super sessionable. It's like a total crusher because the sourness is so, so much in check. It's like super crisp. It's very wheaty actually and bready too. Mm. It's almost like a funky Saison base because uh, it has like some rustic vibes to it as well. I think like a mm. rustic kind of wheaty or spelt character. Um, really good though. Really, really good. Um, yeah, really digging it. I think yeah, I've had beers too. from the guard I like more and I, I would have loved a bit more funkiness and, yeah. and whatnot. Um, that would just suit to, it well. Yeah, just to elevate everything. Uh, like one of the recent 
uh, peach beers we had, Brent and I, was Antidote's uh, Persic and Nectarine, Illumite or Illumine, and I think that was better than this. Uh, but I will still say it's early world class kind of funky beer and wild ale. Uh, let's not call it like Lambic, but let's call it like American inspired spontaneous beer or American wild ale. I'll still say a 95. I love the vibrancy and freshness on it, but a small 95, maybe mm -hmm. a large or big 94. Yeah. No, I'm also going to say 94. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. But the guard makes really nice beers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Across the board. Almost everything I've had from Degard was yeah. is pretty good. A total crusher. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, if you guys had a chance to try the sixth peach by Degard, let us know what you thought of it. Very, very nice stuff. Uh, thank the son to Brett for sharing this. He's sitting outside in the sun chilling with it. So cheers to him. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos and we're gonna fly cheers and delicious peachy goodness. And see you guys in another beer video.